Hello and good day everyone. Uh, my name is Dr. Sarajah Fikri Muhammad. For uh, today's lesson, uh, I'm going to discuss about uh, work breakdown structure. Work breakdown structure is uh, very important when we are going to uh, measure the engineering services in building. What do you understand by work, bre work breakdown structure? It is a foundation for project planning and also for the project implementation, project execution, and important technique used in project management. And it's a become a key or what we call secret for successful project management. Because uh, for the project cost management, we also use uh, what we call a break, work breakdown structure. And the main purpose of the itemized or systematic uh, measurement or systematic cost management is we are going to turn large and complex and unique, uh, perhaps a mystifying uh, piece of work such as construction into small and manageable tasks, which is we uh, do it by a uh, list of the activities, list of the item is related to project facing and uh, we uh, try to get the final output of that particular project. Okay, this is the basic introdu introduction to the work breakdown structure. And what is the WBS in what we call, in other words, we call task list or activity list. In project cost management, we call this item list or task list as an item. Item for the mechanical and electrical engineering services. This is what we call item or work breakdown structure. This is an example of the what we call a small landscape project. Okay, small landscape project, we need to have main item. How to complete it, how, how to the construct landscape in our house. First, we need to design, which is item 1.0, design home landscape. Second, we put in lawn. We need to make sure that we put the lawn in our garden and etc. This is the second, uh, what we call activity or second item. Third is we build the fence uh, along the perimeters of our building. This is the third activity. And we have sub activity, which is 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4. This is what we call sub activity. And another sub activity, another layer, which is 2.1, uh, 2.2.1. 2.2.2, 2.2.3, and etc. This is what you call the main item and then list of the sub item. This is uh, how we do the cost management in building. We need to make sure that during the construction process or during the design process and then design process, we have what we call the activities from activity number one to activity number, what we call number 10 or number 12, and etc. We need to be clear. We need to make sure that uh, we understand the process from uh, from uh, number one until completed of that particular particular what we call item, particular uh, uh, process or particular uh, engineering services installation in in building. Okay. This is very important for uh, design team, for M and E consultant, and also uh, QS consultant to understand every single part of the. Uh, process and uh, important also the item here uh, because provide detailed il illustration of the scope or magnitude of the project we uh, describe the item very precisely and also to provide a magnitude of that particular uh, equipment or particular devices or installation in mechanical and electrical engineering installation. Monitor work progress because each activity uh, or task define measurable unit of work in terms of your time and quantity. Very important because if we relate to the, uh, the importance of the measurement, we need to quantify it during the construction stage to do the measurement, to do the uh, interim evaluation, to do the changes or uh, variation order. We can use the BQ. Okay, we can use this what we call the process of systematic uh, measurement here. And 
for the accurate cost and schedule estimate. Very important for us to have the BQ to manage all the costs throughout the process from process 1 to process 12 and etc. This is uh, we define by quantity and also we can define by time. We can relate with the time. And build project team. For example, you have uh, what we call a complex project, uh, big project, you can divide it into the project team. For example, mechanical, you have the project manager for mechanical. For electrical, we have the project manager for uh, electrical. Civil and structure, we have uh, what we call a project manager for civil and structure. Uh, this is the work breakdown structure in building, what we call common work breakdown structure in building. Number one is substructure. This is uh, uh, for the first item when we construct a building. Number one is substructure. Number two is superstructure, which contain a building frame, a beam, a roof beam, external wall, a roof, and etc. And number three is the finishes, which is a external wall, internal wall, floor finish, and also the painting works. Number four is uh, furniture and fittings. Uh, and number five is very important, which is building services. This is the what we call uh, our main objective for this model, which is we are focusing to the building services or engineering services in building uh, based on our research, based on our study. Uh, now, so this not five, eh? not five is the basic uh, building services work, but uh, based on our observation based on our study nowadays it's about 43 engineering services work in building especially for the intelligent building especially for the smart building and number six is the external works uh, for the next module we are going to discuss uh, one by one uh, for each uh, engineering services in uh, building and hopefully you can understand uh, the importance of the engineering services measurement in building and uh, this is what uh, we did in the current practice. Okay, can, if you can see here, this is the uh, practice by uh, Malaysian construction industry, which is we practice, uh, which is uh, we measure the engineering services in the prime cost sum. Okay, in the price uh, cost, cost sum. For example, uh, we provide here air conditioning and mechanical ventilation system, this sum of a month. We allow for profit in percentage and also we allow for attendance in the lump sum basis. And when we receive a drawing from architect or and also from uh, engineering uh, services consultant, for example, a mechanical and uh, electrical consultant, we receive uh, what we call a drawing. Actually, we can produce BQ for that particular item because uh, based on the standard method of measurement in section Q and section R we can produce a bill of quantity if we get a proper drawing from architect and also mechanical and electrical engineering consultant. This is an example of the drawing which is uh, you can see here there is a cooling tower here cooling tower uh, the water chiller unit the AHU and ducting system. Actually, in the section Q and section R, we can measure uh, the uh, component, the item in the engineering services, in the mechanical engineering uh, equipment in building. Okay, this is the current practice. If you can uh, see here, okay, you can see here, uh, based on the section Q and R, uh, item uh, of work are not classified under the appropriate uh, heading as required by the section Q2 and R2 of the SMM2. In the SMM, we can measure uh, the every equipment inside the engineering services uh, uh, works in building. Uh, pipe works, for example, pipe work that connect from, uh, from the uh, condenser water pump to cooling tower, uh, we can measure it uh, in the provision of SMM2. And uh, we not uh, in terms of the risk, uh, we need uh, we need to make sure that M and E services BQ are most uh, professionally in nature. It, it it is subject to remeasurement. When you install on site, we do again the remeasurement. Okay, we uh, again do the remeasurement. Uh, and uh, for the current situation, now contractor are often required to allow for works not measured or shown in the tender drawing. 
but using the SMM, we can itemize every aspect of the uh, processes. If if the, that particular processes is not shown in the drawing, and MNE services drawing are of, often not completed at the time of preparing BQ for tender purposes. Okay, therefore, by using uh, this module, we learn from this module, we can prepare systematic. Uh, standard met, uh, systematic uh, bill of quantity for mechanical and analytical works. And again, in terms of the overall uh, project cost management, uh, based on our, our BQ, first the Q, which is the quantity. We have the what we call proper itemized, uh, what we call uh, bills, and also the quantity that particular item. And we have the rate which is the rate contained in the BQ or contract document, tender document, and also tender document submitted by the contractor, we can use for the historical database. And the quantity, if we have a proper quantity, first will help us in terms of the scope change authorization, especially for the VO, variation of works. And will help us on the final account because all the uh, the payment interim valuation we owe, we already have the quantity which is in the final account it is important for you to finalize every single uh, aspect of the valuation and also payment to the contractor and after we completed the final account we can use that particular rate the current rate that uh, we already uh, implement in that that project for the MNE services as historical cost database. For the next project, for the project in initiation, we can use as a basis for the what we call cost budget and etc. And uh, thank you for this session. I hope uh, you enjoy this session. And for further information, please do visit our uh, what we call Open Learning uh, website, which is you can uh, visit uh, openlearning.com slash courses slash SBEQ 3213X. Thank you so much.